I have a way to almost guarantee that you get your smoking charges approved on Turo. I hear time and time again from hosts on Turo that they just can't seem to get smoking charges approved. And what if I told you that you're probably doing it all wrong? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the easiest way to get you that extra $250 when renters smoke in your car. So if you want to cash in on that smoking charge every single time, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. And while you're here, if you want to turn that smoking red subscribe button to an ashy gray subscribed button, that would be great. You see what I did? No? Okay. Well, at least give the video a like, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I actually recorded some video in a car that a renter smoked in just a couple of days ago. But before we get into that, I want to cover the basics. This video is very simple in all honesty. In the footage, I'm going to be covering places that you need to take pictures of before the trip starts. I'll also talk about the different kinds of evidence that you can find, and I'll tell you the number one spots to find it in. I'll drop the video in with the raw audio so you can hear my thoughts in real time as I'm doing the walkthrough. And feel free to pause and rewind if you miss something or need a better look. After the video, I'll list the areas out on screen with screenshots of the before and afters from this trip just to show you how important it is to get good pre-trip photos in the right places. And finally, I'll show the outcome of this claim so that you can all see that this strategy really does work. But okay, editor, roll the footage. Oh, I'm the edit. Okay, here we go. Enjoy. Okay, so today I'm just making this quick video on finding smoking spots on a car. So here I've got my Honda Fit. It's a 2013 Honda Fit that was returned by a renter late last night. And just walking up to the car, I can already see that it was definitely smoked in. These cars are spotless before uh, they go out. So you can see, so I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the different uh, locations that you need to look for in terms of getting these smoking charges approved. So um, first things first, let's start on the outside of the car. So on the outside, for your pre-trip photos, you're gonna wanna really get good photos of these gaskets, these window gaskets and the window trim. Um, because as you can see, one part of evidence that you can find, it's very, very often we find this, uh, is ash on the windows and the doors. So getting good pre-trip photos right here, especially of like the front doors. I on, We honestly do it of all the doors, but mainly, you know, the driver and the passenger door for sure. Um, and then this window trim right here, you can see that there's ash going along just because when you're driving or when they're driving, I should say, and they have the window down and they're smoking, the ash as it hits the wind, hits this gasket or this trim here. And it also is on the inside, which I'll show you in a little bit. But moving to the other side, let's see if it's over here as well. Uh, yeah, you can see that there's a little bit of ash here on this side too. And so we always make sure to have this super clean before the trip starts, um, just in case something like this comes up, because then we can show them that uh, there was definitely smoking going on there. So that's one part of the evidence that you can find you want to make sure you take good photos of. And so going into the car, this car is a disaster. I actually took a look of it and look at it already, but um, places that you're going to want to look again. So doors, you can see that there's more ash here. So making sure that you get pictures of the doors. And then even on here, this window gasket, if this is going to focus. Yep. So there's ash there. And then moving down, there's some more ash uh, in here. It's kind of hard to see, but definitely ash right there. That wasn't there before. And then looking at the inside of the car, you can see that there's ash up here in the corner. So we always make sure to clean this entire thing on both sides of the car. So this window gasket or this door gasket here, making sure that that's clean because you can definitely get some ash there, which is more evidence. Um, and then obviously the floor. So if you can see here, we got a bunch of like tobacco right here bunch of tobacco all just little brown spots is all tobacco in here and then we've got a little bit of weed so you can see if there's if that wants to focus there's some weed right there there's some weed right here so making sure that you get you know good photos from this angle right here um and making sure that it's clean obviously spotless so there and then underneath our mat so for all of our cars we have uh these husky liner mats and underneath we always get good pictures underneath because ash can come down and rest right underneath the mat. So we've got a bunch of ash and a bunch of tobacco and a little bit of weed right there. So that's definitely one thing that you're gonna, gonna wanna get. And then we get, again, good photos of the doors because you can see even in, in here, that's some weed right there. 
that wasn't there before. There's some ash in there, wasn't there before either. Really, we get pictures of the entire car, but I'm just pointing out places that you're gonna want to check to make sure that, you know, you have photos of so that you can get approved. Um, another place to look for ash is underneath these seats because it does go down there. So you can see there's a bunch of ash down here. And this crevice right here, which is on all of the cars because it's part of the track for how the, um, how the seat moves. So you can see that there's a bunch of ash right here. We make sure to have this spotless and then get good pictures of it post trip. And you can see how there's a bunch of ash there on the other side as well. So making sure you get that. And then one thing I didn't know because I don't smoke, but one thing I didn't know before this was that, well, I didn't know ash really to look for ash. Um, but in here, you can see that there's nothing here right now, but for a lot of smokers, you're gonna wanna get a picture here because as they're smoking and they're holding, you know, their cigarette or their joint blunt, whatever it might be, um, the ash can fall down on here as well. So making sure you get good photos of that spot as well. And then cup holders, there's always ash in there. So you can see ash, 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 bunch of ash. Oh, that's a little bit of weed in there, so. Yep, and then getting good, you know, pictures of these locations, you'd be surprised, like, you would think, you know, this is the first place that somebody's gonna wanna clean. Um, these areas, like the middle console, is always filthy. I'm, I'm surprised that it's not filthy right now because, like I said, most renters do, when they smoke, they do have a lot of um, evidence here in the middle console, so make sure to get good pictures here. Um, and then obviously the seats, you can see that there's, in the, in the crevices of the seats, there's always a lot of evidence. So we got some tobacco there. And uh, I think we got some weed, yeah, some weed right here. And there's usually down in these areas um, where this coin is right now, there's usually a lot of ash in there. Um, you can kind of see right here, there's a little bit of ash, a little bit of weed. So making sure you get good pictures there. And then if we move to the back, so I'm gonna pull the seat forward. If we move to the back, this is why I love Honda because, well, first off, let's talk about the seat. So you can see um, kind of like the window gaskets and door trim in the front, when people are driving and smoking, the air, it pushes some of it onto the window trim and onto the door, whatever the case might be, and some of it outside, but it also pushes some of it onto this back seat. So you can see that there's ash here, ash here, there's ash all over this back seat because as she's driving, um, ash is just piling up back here. And then even down here, you can see a ton of ash. So definitely get good pictures of your back seats because when they're driving and smoking, uh, ash is definitely gonna come back. And why I love Honda is because you can lift these seats up and if you push this down, uh, it actually locks them. So you can see it's locked. And so we always get really good pictures underneath our back seats because you can see here, this is like just crazy mountains of ash. Look at this mountain of ash there. Mountain. Look at this ash right here. Tons of it. So getting good pictures underneath your back seats, especially if you've got Hondas or any cars where, you know, the back seats can go up like this, get good pictures behind here because that's definitely easy evidence that you can find. And then obviously underneath the mats as well, because sometimes there's ash, like there is there, there's some more ash over there, there's some te tobacco right there. So, and then under these back seats, there's usually a lot of ash, especially for the people that clean. So this lady just, I mean, she blatantly smoked in the car and said, whatever, he can find all the ash, the weed, tobacco, whatever. It's usually not this blatant. Um, but when they, when they clean, they kind of get lazy because, you know, they clean and then they're like, ah, oh, it looks good enough and you're able to find ash and uh, tobacco, weed, whatever the case might be, underneath these back seats, or the front seats, technically. So um, the back of the front seats, you can look under here, and you can see ash and weed and tobacco, so definitely getting pictures under there. And we'll put this back down. And then one area, just because, you know, ash travels backwards, you can see in this trunk, Look at how coated this trunk is with ash. I mean, just coated. This is the, These are spotless when we give them out. Nothing in the back. And this is all ash. All, this, all these white dots that you see, it's all ash. Because if I just wipe it, you can see it's all ash. So this lady went crazy in this car. And so I thought definitely make the video 
because uh, I can show you definitely where things show up. So yeah, definitely check the trunks. This is if you have, you know, open to the rest of the car hatchback, kind of like what we've got. Um, most of our cars are like this, which is nice um, because again, renters don't really think of checking the back uh, for ash, but this is one place that I can definitely pile up. Good place to have pre-trip photos and good place to find evidence. And I mean, the same kind of goes for the other side. Um, so just checking all the other places you can see here, you want to get good photos on the passenger side, uh, on the side of the chair because tons of weed, more weed right here stuck to the chair and then a bunch of ash. And then same thing goes for underneath here. You can see that there's some tobacco down there. Um, there's ash and everything underneath the seats, ash over here. I mean, this car is loaded with it. So definitely, definitely getting your good pre-trip photos in all the places that I've said. And I guess after, uh, after this video, I'm gonna just do a quick recap um, on screen to show you all, all of the places I would say definitely get pictures of. So I'll list them out for you so that you don't have to kind of go back and find them in this video. Um, but again, just getting good pictures because you can definitely find evidence. You can see that there's more ash here. And going back into the back seat, more ash on the seat. And lifting this up, I mean, it's just, yeah, an ash festival back here. So definitely getting pictures in all of these spots. So I will have on screen right now, right after this, um, a list of all the locations and I'll show pictures and that way you all know where to look for uh, or where to take your pre-trip photos just because you could find so much evidence and get these approved all the time. And then I will show me getting it completed successfully. This will be a piece of cake. So yeah, I'll have that here in a couple seconds for you. So stay tuned for the list and for seeing the outcome of this specific issue reporting. Okay, so welcome back. Hopefully that footage helped show a lot of the areas that we get pictures of. But let's cover the main or most important areas here on screen. So the top five areas that you need to get pre-trip photos of are the following. The exterior window trim and doors, the interior door gaskets, smashing the like button. Who put this in here? Uh, sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, let's get on with the list. Next up are the floors, both front and back, cup holders slash middle console, and finally, the trunk, if it's open to the rest of the car. In my opinion, these are the areas where the most evidence shows up. Obviously, rewatch the footage and see the additional areas to get pre-trip photos of, but these five areas are gonna be your money shots where the evidence is clearly shown. And as for the outcome of this claim, I've got it on screen showing that the smoking charge was actually approved. I'm telling you, this really can work for you. If you're struggling to get your smoking charges approved, Start taking all the photos that I mentioned in this video and you'll have a much higher chance of getting your 250 bucks. And with that being said, I wanna thank you for watching today's video. If you found some use out of this video, make sure to leave a like and hit the sub button as well as the notification bell in order to stay notified of future content. And until next time. That's all folks.